rumors circulating on the internet. Hi! Hello! Welcome back! I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day. Whatever you might be doing today, I hope that you are getting to do something that is bringing you joy and at least making you feel productive or something. I'm not sure. But whatever it is that you need today, I hope that you're getting it. If you are new here, you can call me totes. My pronouns are she, her, hers. You might not know this about me because I have an extensive amount of hobbies. It's kind of like my tagline, I have too many hobbies. Well, the reason I have too many hobbies is because I have ADD and so hyperfixation is real. Along with the goats and the soap making and the video games is a lot of sci-fi and fantasy and comics. I've been wanting to talk about some of those things more often in sort of a babble talky way. But when I chat with my friends, when we talk for hours on end about basically nothing, we call it blabber talk and we will usually text each other and say, hey, you up for some blabber talk soon? The topic has not been ooh, enough for me to dive into a blabber talk about it. If you Google David Tennant next doctor, there's articles that are being posted every day about who could be the 14th doctor. I've got a bunch to unload on you. So here's my unloading. I am a huge Whovian. I discovered Doctor Who Probably 2008, 2009, I was in undergrad. I was living in a very tiny apartment. I did not have a couch. The only furniture I had was a gaming chair that my friend got me. On the TV comes, I guess I had a TV. I had a TV and a gaming chair, and I guess I did have an Xbox and a PC. But if those count as furniture, I don't know. They, anyway tangents. I had sci-fi on the background. I was kind of just like doing my thing. I don't know what was on before. A marathon started, a Doctor Who marathon. I think that's one of the weird things about being a nerdy girl is I had friends who were nerds, obviously, who were also into sci-fi and stuff, but I did not receive the same kind of cultural experience of being a nerd until I was much older. A lot of the things that I fell in love with that were from nerddom I found sort of accidentally, like I discovered Douglas Adams because I thought it'd be really cool in high school to read through my entire school's library and I started with authors with the A names first and so that's kind of how I ended up <laughs> reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Similarly, here I am late at night, it's probably 10 o'clock and they've started a Doctor Who marathon. Now it starts with Christopher Eccleston. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. I watched it all night. I continued to watch it all the next day as it moved into the series with David Tennant and all of the little serotonin receptors in my ADD brain said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I had a new hyperfixation and it was Doctor Who. I had bought every single thing I possibly could. I had all the episodes. I had comic books and action figures and posters and a Dalek dress. I almost wrote fan fiction. I didn't but I read a lot of fan fiction, which I think might be worse. Then after his time ended, found his IMDb and found anything I could watch, including some of his really bad made for TV movies. I, I am a fan. I am a fan. I, I was in it. I was in it. I was in it. I say all this because over the last week or so, there has been rumors circulating on the internet. The only reason I know about them is because my Google the great android whatever knows that I love Doctor Who because on my little scrolly bit almost every single article David Tennant coming back as Doctor Who, David Tennant 14th incarnation, David Tennant, David Tennant, I'm just sitting here looking through this like wait what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. What? Since we know that Russell T Davies is coming back, that's kind of where this whole rumor began, is the idea that, well, if Russell T Davies is coming back, then why not bring back David Tennant? To be honest, I love Jodie Whittaker. I loved her first season as the 13th Doctor, and it just kind of, I don't know, got worse every season. I struggled more and more. I think it has very little to do with Jodi as the Doctor herself, but rather the writing and the stories that were being told and the whole Doctor Who flux thing I just... I can't even talk about. My initial thought was David Tennant? Whoop whoop! And then, wait, but why? And so apparently the whole reason why they think that this is potentially a credible rumor, although most articles are saying absolutely not credible at all, is that the same source that is claiming to leak this is also claiming to have been the one who leaked Sasha Dawin as the master in season 12. I, I don't know if that's a really good 
you know, reason. I have gone kind of back and forth on this even as I'm blabber talking to you all today, I don't think it's an actual real life reality just because it would be the first time it had ever happened. And as much as I would love to see Tenet on the screen again playing the doctor, I just don't know if it would make sense. I mean, he's, gosh, has it been 10 years? Is he 10 years older now? And so why would he reincarnate himself as an older version of himself? That doesn't make sense to me as somebody who has been obsessed with David Tennant. I think that what it comes down to for me is if if David Tennant is the 14th Doctor, what would make sense about it? There's the logistical things of us coming up on the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. There is something kind of bookendy about him being there as the 10th Doctor for the 50th anniversary and then now being the new 14th Doctor in the 60th anniversary. There's something like that's kind of cool about that, I guess. There is the fact that Russell T Davies is back. We don't really know what we're going to expect from him because a lot of his work has changed in the last 10 years. Like a lot. I'll link a video video below from Council of Geeks as they kind of talk deeper about Russell T Davies, what people are expecting from him coming back, and also what we might be getting considering what he's been up to over this last whole decade. One of the things that always struck me about Tenet's series was how Tenet left it, how the Tenth Doctor left. I don't want to go. It definitely hit close to home. Would it make sense in the same way that, you know, in theory, like the way that they described it in canon is that the Doctor became Matt Smith because after losing Rose and everyone, he just kind of wanted to be a kid. His portrayal of the Doctor was a younger portrayal. And then after Matt Smith, we had Capaldi and Capaldi was kind of giving off the older, more, you know, grumpy kind of vibes. And then we have Jody, who's someone completely different and new. And so I wonder if there could be an argument made for the reason why the Doctor came back in an incarnation that he's had before, but 10 years older is because there are things that need to be fixed. I don't know. I guess on the one hand, I could see how that could work. And if anyone was going to do it, I think that Russell T Davies could do it justice. I. I, I think. But then on the other hand, so many reasons why not. And I say that as somebody who absolutely loves David Tennant, absolutely loves the 10th Doctor, would love to see what he could imagine the 14th Doctor to be like, even as playing the same sort of character, but with more years of experience and memories. And if you take in Flux as canon, which I don't know if we're going to, even more years of memories and experiences. And so I don't know. All that being said, whatever happens, I'm looking forward to seeing what Russell T Davies does. I'm hopeful that watching Doctor Who will be enjoyable again. I, I have been watching with Whitaker and I love her. I love her portrayal, but the storylines have just been so bleh for me. And so I'm hopeful for what Russell T. Davies can do. I am excited to see what he does. I am hopeful that it's not going to be the same. I, I don't want it to be. I want it to be different. I want it to be new and I want it to still be the Doctor. I want it to be the Doctor saving the universe and talking about time and space in a way that makes me excited and gets me ready to like explore the world. And I don't know if bringing back the same doctor, the same actor again would do that, but I saw this and the initial thought in my head was not, yes, David Tennant, coming back. It was just, oh no. And I think it goes back to this idea that we are so often seeing in our media today that rather than trying something new, even if it doesn't work, I don't think that the issue with Jodie's tenure as the Doctor was Jodie or was a female Doctor. I think it was an issue of writing. I just think that the storytelling was not there in the way that I expect it to be with the Doctor. And that's not Jodie's fault. It's just not. Honestly, when her first season came out and I binged all of that, I was at the same sort of level 
level of fandom about Jodie as I was about David. With all the reboots and rehashes and prequels and sequels, I just... My hope for the Doctor would be that they would try something new. I would love to see, I don't know, maybe a person of color as the Doctor? Especially now that with the Flux story, if it is going to stay canon, there can be an infinite number of incarnations of the Doctor. We don't have to have limits. Why are we still trying to put limits? I think that that's probably my biggest thing around this is as much as I would love to see David Tennant as the Doctor again, and honestly, if they bring him back, Lord knows I'm gonna watch it. I just think that I would rather see what Russell T Davies can do, especially as we continue to see the BBC as a whole, particularly BBC News, continue giving platforms and voices to transphobic speakers, and I'll link some videos below about that, but I can't talk about the BBC without mentioning that big, glaring, major issue, and I know that the production company that does Doctor Who is separated from BBC News, but they're still part of the same overall conglomerate, and so there it needs to be said. I've been hopeful watching as we've seen more queer characters in Doctor Who, more people of color in Doctor Who over the last decade. I would love to be able to see that come through in the Doctor, and I know that the Doctor themselves have always sort of been kind of ace, kind of asexual, with David Tennant's Doctor being a little bit more on the romantic side, a little bit more interested in romance, but not really in the same way as, say, Jack Harkness, who, Barrowman being a whole other can of worms, it's just a lot these days. And there's just a lot surrounding Doctor Who, and so I don't know if the series needs a long break like it had between the 80s and the 2000s, or if Russell T Davies can sort of recapture that excitement and joy and hope that I had when I first discovered Doctor Who. But I'm also still very reticent because I think that as much as the articles and things are just saying it's a random rumor, that it's not very likely that David Tennant will come back as the 14th Doctor. The reason why it's catching attention, the reason why there are so many articles about this right now is because a lot of people are wondering because it's not actually as outlandish as we maybe want to think, because I think that the reality is that big networks are really kind of struggling to try something new and put some risks out there because they don't want to lose whatever fan base they might already have. I don't know if bringing back the same doctor, the same actor again would do that, but we shall see, I guess. We shall see. I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you for blabber talking with me. I would love to hear what you think. Would you be happy about David Tennant coming back as the 14th Doctor? Would you prefer somebody new? Who do you want to see as the Doctor? If you liked this video, if you want to continue to hear me do blabber talking about stuff that I'm obsessed with, like, subscribe, I don't know, that stuff. It helps me a lot, especially since we're new and I guess growing, which is awesome, but I would love to hear from you guys. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye! Thank you.